Good morning. Today we talk about this small box. It came from Elong Outdoor or elongarchery.com. I will put the link in the description. Kelly from Elong Outdoor reached out to me and said, Listen, we have now a new thumb guard and we want you to review it. And so we do. Came in this really pretty box. Slide it open. And this is what you get thumb protector and a note saying something in Chinese and on the back it says a lot but it's so small written that I, even with glasses I can't read it but it's a thumb armor a Ming one it's meant for beginners it's very comfortable it doesn't hurt when you shoot it doesn't apply pressure like a ring so this is the item. It's available in two sizes, in small and in medium. Medium goes from 21 to 24 millimeters and I was almost afraid that it might not fit because I have a little more than 24. But Kelly said, no, try it, it will fit. What is it? It's a, as you see, a brass part inside and it's completely covered inside with leather and outside it's uh, surrounded with leather. Then you have it here open so it's adjustable and you have a wrist strap so you can't lose it. Looks a little like Iron Man in medieval ages but I think it's a quite smart idea. I'm only not sure about this ledge here when you shoot that this might not whatever that the string doesn't catch up here but we will see. Most important thing is the fit. So you put it around then you put your thumb in obviously. Look at, oh. And it really, zack, it sits, you know exactly where to place this one, so that's neat. And then you simply tie the back strap here. Look at this. That's actually really, feels really good. So you tighten it here, it's solid, and this thing doesn't go anywhere. Nice, and you have your metal, so it's not only leather which will tear out over time and it's quite a deep a deep groove which reminds me a little look at this so we might i mean maybe it's not even they of course show now that you need to shoot like this but of course we will try shallow hook too because why not why not? So we need to tighten this one now. And as you see, it's easy. You get it on and done. Easy peasy. Let's shoot. So let's see, as they say, it's for beginners. We of course shoot first with a snake. This thing really sits nice on it. So grabs the string nicely, then you hook it. Let's see. Feels safe and solid. So there's nothing to complain. This, this groove is quite deep and you don't feel really anything, no pressure, nothing. But talking is one thing. So I hook now the thumb ring and make a deep hook out of it. <coughs> a little harsh on the release but this is with the, when you have these deep grooves like this. Pot. Nice. Tips are loose, so not only my arrows are loose tips. And there's even the inside now. My god. So. so it's quite so when you bend the thumb you see that uh, this this uh, groove is quite backwards so until you release it takes a while until the string comes out and you feel it it's like a bit hooky that's why it's a hook I forgot to mention the price is I think something between 25 and 30 dollars which is for what you get not bad and the weight is 13 14 grams so it's very lightweight but you still have this brass insert so that's quite nice um, we do shallow hook now huh? shallow hook with a lightweight bow first course so, shallow hook and then you see shallow hook only like this you see like like this so you don't curl the thumb you only line the thumb alongside of the middle finger this hook is I think deep enough 
<laughs> nice. Look at this. It's a nice cello. Then even the release is more smooth. That's pretty neat. Nice. So let's see, do we see any wear and tear? Not yet. So it's not so bad, not so bad. We should one more time. The good thing is you can't do anything almost wrong with this. So it's, it's self-explanatory. You know where the string has to sit. You're protected in the back. So not like a normal thumb ring where the string is behind. It's really comfy and looks fancy. And you can have it in, I don't know how many colors. So red, green, white. Well, luckily they sent me black. They know me. <laughs> so one more time, deep hook. Where I wrap my index around. Then it takes a little, maybe a bit more marble flick. Yeah, I don't know. You can shoot it like this, it's no problem. But for me, this is a shallow hook thumb protector, thumb guard. This is so much nice. And there is flying more straight. So now we need to get a different bow and we shoot it. Still kind of a beginner's bow. We shoot the Tatar from Weg, which I got from Peter Boga and I made it dirty now. It's a 36 pound. It should be just fine. First to retire. And I shoot the destroyer arrows, of course, again. First we, we try deep hook again, but deep hook feels a little uncomfortable, I have to admit. But it works. There's only the string a little thin and the knocks a little wide. Look at this. Nice. And you have really a good control of this. So now we try shallow hook. Shallow hooker. Works just fine. Shallow hook again. In the shallow, shallow, la la. Control and a nice crisp release. That's awesome. So. So at least up to 35 pounds, a shallow hook feels safe. <laughs> not bad, not bad. So 25, 30 dollars. It's worth considering it uh, when you don't really want to shoot a ring. You are tired of your leather tabs because they wear out and tear and whatever. You would like to have the best of both worlds, kind of, then this one might be a good option for you. You can strap it back. Look, it came a little loose now, so you really can tighten it that it really sits snug. It's not bad. Now we only need to see how it works with reloading my way. As you know me, how I load, I hold the arrow like this, push forward and back. That was surprisingly working well. Let's see. It's no problem at all. That's nice. That was my only, my only concern that the way I load, you know, I push forward. But here, see, it's still far enough back, so you can push forward, back. It's not too fiddly. I like it. And what you can do with it, if you have one of these hankyus or something, and you don't have the original Japanese glove for it, I forgot the name now. With this one, you can do the same. When you stand in folder, you simply rotate the wrist slightly until the string comes here to the side and it goes out by itself, so to say. Look at this. It's incroyable. I stand here in full draw and I simply start rotating my wrist 
I don't release by myself. I rotate the wrist until the string comes off by itself. And then it shoots, you know? Cool. And this all with shallow hook. So I stand here and I don't release. I only... <laughs> and then I screw and the arrows fly straight. So you don't have a big release action. You simply jig like this and release. Pretty versatile this thing for that it's for a beginner. So now let's check again. I shot now some arrows with heavy and with hung Q and I still don't see any kind of damage there. The only thing you need to retighten it sometimes. It comes a little loose here. But this is not a big thing after a few shots. You simply tighten this again and then it's fine. Let's shoot one more Yumi. So you do your shallow hook as you're used to it. When you stand in full draw, you don't even open your thumb. You simply rotate and then all of a sudden, ping, the string comes out. So I still was standing like this. I didn't change anything. I didn't open up here. So there was no movement in my hand and I shot a nice group again. Has something. So of course you pros will say, hey, it's stupid. But for the average Joe like me, I like this one. It fits and the thing is with humidity I have so many thumb rings and I always want to shoot them and then depending on the weather and the daytime sometimes I can bring them around my knuckle and sometimes like like look like this one here today I wanted to show it but this one today is simply not going to oh no it's going roughly to work so but in the morning this one didn't fit so because it's one size and when my thumb is a little thicker no chance so this way you always need two three thumb rings for every occasion with this one slide it on and no matter how thick your thumb is this day you tighten it and you're good to go and it looks fancy i have to admit i like it there you have it the ming one the thumb guard is this it's on the thumb ring it's not a thumb ring. it's a thumb guard I like this idea. When you're done, look at this. I mean, you can either put it off here and let it dangle, or you put it then off your wrist. And you can make this even a bit more tight. It was a little too wide for me. And then look at this. This is pretty neat, pretty well made. So here you have your deep groove. And as you can see now, there's nothing. No abrasion, nothing. So this thing go simply out of the way. So no matter how you shoot, at least up to 36 pounds now. Didn't shoot a 100 pound bow, but it's a set for beginners. So like me, just just fine. Inside, nice and comfy. It, and it's really, you go in and tuck. you come over the knuckle with it. And you know, it's like, tuck. and now it's, it's here. And then you tighten it. Pretty, pretty cool. I really like it. So thank you, T Kelly, for sending it to me. First, my friend in Thailand wanted to send me one because I saw it on a photo. I said, won't, and he said, it, he will ask his master. But in the meantime, I got it from Kelly. So this is a pretty good for even when you begin thumb release. The small one for the ladies might be fine. And this one is from 21 to 24 millimeters. You cover quite a variety of thumb width. With with yeah, but you know what I mean. <coughs> this you get it in this nice box. And I'm dirty again because of uh, with this description here, but I show it to you then in a close-up. And then if you want to you can put it back in your box. And it's I think a good invested 30 euros, in my opinion. So very versatile. It's of course nothing for, for really speed shooting or something. So then it's a little in the way. Is it? I'm gonna shoot my way. How fast would it be? Yeah, it's 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 not really for speed shooting here. Like it's a little fiddly. Mm. 
Mm. And there's this way where you hold the arrows like this and you shoot thumb release, but I still didn't figure this and this it's not going to work because the front part is then in the way so it's not it's not really going to work so fast shooting not the best option but for everything else just fine so for me fully thumbs up for this thumb guard from elongarrow.com I will put the link in the description get one it's really really versatile so and it's very comfortable so I didn't feel anything I shot now I don't know how many arrows you don't feel any pain nothing that's seriously very interesting so I like it a lot it's not heavy but it's sturdy does the job when you can put it away like this no problem you don't need to carry the books with you if you don't want to <laughs> so that's all I have for you today Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.